Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. In the last episode, we did Dirty Deeds, and we played the Giovanni manipulation game, and we t wheeled and dealed and talked our way through learning Giovanni's secrets of their mortal people, and then we convinced this uh, person to lead us into a secret basement. You know what they do in this room? Looks like an embalming room in a funeral parlor. Mm -hmm. right? Know what they do with the corpses? No idea. I shouldn't do this, but why don't I show you? It gets pretty weird from here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, and be ready to run. You'll understand when it happens. Follow me. I'm coming. Oh, where's that book I'm looking for? That's a dog. I saw something flash. Giovanni book. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Haha. <laughs> she ran down this way. usually attack just don't provoke them what's happening they're coming to get us oh my gosh we've got to get out of here run Fine, you can run away. Are they just, like, infinitely coming? Whoa. Okay. Cool. I guess I'm gonna leave that girl alone now. Got what I wanted, the Giovanni book, and <laughs> made my way <laughs> even further deeper. Okay. Zombie pit down that way. Oh, Trixie. Ha ha ha. Can't fool me. Okay, so that would lead up from there. to no zombie. I killed a whole house full of them. Bring it. Feels like I'm in Castle Wolfenstein a little bit. Or maybe like the U Bowl House of the Dead movie. <laughs> kind of.
This seems interesting. Is this what I'm looking for? No, it does not look like it. But maybe... Okay, it went deeper. We've gone deeper. Put my heavier clothes back on. Oh, we Kindred, found your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now. Or face the consequences of your actions. Let's discuss this problem, whatever it may be. There is an alliance between your leader LaCroix and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. What alliance? What are you talking about? We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. We'll go. I've got my mission. I'll stay. The time for decisions has passed. We Chen brothers accept your life graciously. Sorry, but you won't get it. made me explode. Upstairs, I'm gonna come and get you. That's one. Where's the other? Eat it! Now I gotta heal myself real quickly with those blood points. Ooh, I killed those Changs, which is weird because that's what they were called. That sounds very racist. Sorry for getting quiet there, guys. I'm gonna wait for presents to wear off because that is really disorienting. Wear off. There we go. The Onkarn Sarcophagus. And so now I take it. 
back to LaCroix? Question mark? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, here I am. There's Beckett, and there's the Croy. Okay. Hollywood. Okay, so let's talk with Beckett here. Oh, he's not talkable yet. Okay. LaCroix then. My Wunderkind returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ankaran sarcophagus is ours. Come. I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. Uh, before we do that, I need an answer. Are you in an alliance with the Quajen? What? Preposterous! No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. I was told by the Quajin agents sent to steal the sarcophagus. And you believe them? They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? Yeah, they did. Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks, rumors. It's a trick older than you or I. I still don't know what to believe. Let's open the sarcophagus. What have you assessed so far? Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, Budge. Beckett, have you seen any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine-tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it... Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. What do you think's inside? Put your ear to it. I'll shake it, and you tell me what you think's inside. Alright, stupid question. How do we open it? Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. Who? His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and, as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. So why isn't he here? Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. It appears he's been abducted. Tell me he left some notes or a diagram or something. I did find a pair of bikini swimwear and a book detailing the origins of various Turkish dialects. That's all? 
I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding your Hansen captive. What? How did you... Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building office of the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them headfirst over the side. Hunters have this guy, huh? What would hunters want with an archaeologist? The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. The Society of Leopold? Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. So how do we get him out? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. You're not going? It's not that I don't love walking into the heart of danger to curry favor with the local magistrate of the hour, but... Actually, that's exactly it. I'd rather not get involved in the politics of it. Besides, I'd better document the sarcophagus before Sebastian's goon smashes it open. You could have just said, because I'm afraid to. Guess I'll go alone. I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly, Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. Few questions before I go. Excellent. Have you learned anything else about the Thin Bloods? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least, uneasy around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. You spoke of Gehenna before. Think the sarcophagus is a part of it? Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. All right, so tell me about yourself. Hmm, I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? You found it's quite easy to get when you want when you're as good looking as I am, or I appreciate your interest in me. I'm fascinated by you. I'm gonna go with four. Sometimes I think the Nosferatu are justified in their prejudices. But to each their own, I suppose. Unless you've got further I would like to ask the prince something first. Okay, apparently that might have increased a stat. It did not. Such a shame. Oh well. We've got 21 experience points. I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here, guys. I hope you had fun, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.